Welcome back, math thinkers. Today we are tackling 10 order of operations traps, the kind that looks simple at first, and then the numbers quietly laugh at you when you ignore the order of operations. We are talking about P-E-M-D-A-S or B-O-D-M-A-S, different acronyms, same underlying idea. These problems follow the standard order of operations, the approach that keeps math consistent no matter where you learned it. In every one of these, here is the structure we follow. Parentheses or brackets first. Exponents, also called orders. Then multiplication and division. Finally, addition and subtraction. An important reminder, multiplication and division are equals. When they appear side by side, we move left to right. No exceptions. The same rule holds for addition and subtraction. Left to right, always. Stick to this rhythm, and the answer stays the same no matter who is solving it. Student, teacher, engineer, accountant, anywhere in the world. Let's warm up and build our way to the trickier ones. So here's the first problem. 3 plus 4 times 5. Looks friendly, right? This is one of those problems where your brain whispers, Come on, just add 3 and 4 first. Get 7. Multiply by 5. Done. And you would land on 35. But the order of operations says otherwise. Do multiplication before addition. So first, 4 times 5 equals 20. Then 3 plus 20 equals 23. That's the correct answer, 23. Start simple. Build momentum. Problem 2. 6 times 7 minus 1. Here is another comfort zone trap. People see 7 minus 1. Do that first. Get 6, then multiply to arrive at 36. But that is wrong. We do not subtract before multiplying. Subtraction comes at the end. So multiplying first, 6 times 7 equals 42. Then subtract 1 to give 41. That is the answer for the second one. 41, not 36. Clean, predictable, strong start. Problem 3, 12 divided by 4 plus 3 times 2. All right, slight jump. This one looks harmless, but watch what happens if you just march left to right without thinking. 12 divided by 4 gives 3. Then 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 times 2 gives 12. Looks smooth, feels confident, and it is completely wrong. Here is the right way. Before adding anything, remember, multiplication comes before addition, and division shares that same level. So let us handle the operations in order. Start with division. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Here, multiplication comes before addition. So 3 times 2 equals 6. Now we add 3 plus 6 equals 9. 9 is the correct answer for problem 3. Very different ending. Slow discipline wins every time. Next, problem 4. 20 minus 6 divided by 3 times 2. Before we solve this one, listen carefully. This is the kind of expression where people charge straight left to right and somehow still do not crash because it starts generating weird fractions. But the only path that gives clean numbers is, unsurprisingly, the correct method. Even though the problem starts with subtraction, we need to do division and multiplication first to follow the order. Since division and multiplication share the same rank, we move left to right. So division first, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. The expression becomes 20 minus 2 times 2. Here, multiplication before subtraction, 2 times 2 equals 4. Now subtract, 20 minus 4 equals 16. That's the correct answer, 16. Neat, elegant, math likes when you respect the order of operations. Problem 5, 8 minus 2 times parentheses, 3 plus 1. Implied multiplication time. This is where brains go. 8 minus 2 is 6. Do not worry. I will handle the parentheses later. Yeah, and that detonates the problem. Inside parentheses first, 3 plus 1 equals 4. The expression becomes 8 minus 2 parentheses 4. Next, implied multiplication. Think of it as 8 minus 2 times 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. 
Now subtract, eight minus eight equals zero. That's the correct answer. Zero, not 24. We are heating up. Problem six, 15 divided by five, parentheses one plus two. All right, here is a classic one. This expression has created more internet arguments than it deserves. Watch how the wrong path unfolds and why so many people fall into it. Some folks see the parentheses and think, handle that first, then multiply with the five and then divide. So they go, one plus two equals three. Then they multiply, five times three equals 15. And finally divide, 15 divided by 15 equals one. They land confidently on one, feeling like math royalty, but that flips the order. Multiplication did not come before division. It replaced it. Let's do it the right way, step by step. Parentheses first, one plus two equals three. Now pause. This is where the order of operations matters. Multiplication and division have equal priority. We don't multiply automatically just because there is a parenthesis next to a number. When they appear side by side, we go left to right. So, left to right, division first. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Now multiply that result. 3 times 3 equals 9. So the correct answer is 9, not 1. Stay with me. We have four more to go. Problem 7. 35 divided by 7. Parentheses 10 divided by 2. The trap here? Your eyes see 7 times something and want to multiply before dividing. Avoid that and do the division at the beginning first. Since the only signs across the expression are division and multiplication, which share equal priority, we strictly go left to right. But before that, parentheses first as usual. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. The expression becomes 35 divided by 7 times 5. Now go left to right. 35 divided by 7 equals 5. Only multiplication left. 5 times 5 equals 25. That's the correct answer. 25, not 1. We are moving into serious territory. Problem 8. 3 times 2 squared plus 2 times 3 squared. Honestly, this one catch so many beginners. You will not believe this, but tons of people multiply the bases first before squaring them. They do three times two first, call the product six, then square it. Then do the same thing with the second pair. Again, six squared. Six squared plus six squared equals 72. And it feels right because it is fast and symmetrical, but it is wrong. With no parentheses, we start with exponents. Two squared equals four. 3 squared equals 9. The expression becomes 3 times 4 plus 2 times 9. Here again, multiplication before addition. 3 times 4 equals 12. 2 times 9 equals 18. Add them, 12 plus 18 equals 30. That's the correct answer, 30, not 72. Big difference, small discipline. Problem 9. 18 divided by 3, parentheses 2 plus 4, minus 8 divided by 2. All right, concentration moment. Pause if you want a head start. Parentheses first, 2 plus 4 equals 6. The expression becomes 18 divided by 3 parentheses, 6 minus 8 divided by 2. Again, implied multiplication. The expression now has three operations. Division multiplication, and subtraction. Forget subtraction for a moment and sweep left to right through division and multiplication. 18 divided by three equals six. Next, multiplication before the next division. Left to right always for equals. Six times six equals 36. Now we have 36 minus eight divided by two. Here again, division before subtraction. Eight divided by two equals four. Finally, subtraction, 36 minus 4 equals 32. That's the correct answer, 32. If you missed the order, you might have ended up with wrong ones like 14 or negative 3. You are doing great if you stayed methodical here. Problem 10, 16 divided by 4, 
parentheses 5 minus 3 squared plus 6 times 2. Final round. We have everything. Parentheses, exponents, division, implied multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Start with subtraction. Wait, what? Isn't subtraction supposed to be last in the order? Yup, but it is inside the parentheses, and parentheses always come first. So 5 minus 3 equals 2. Then exponents. 2 squared is 2 times 2. That equals 4. The expression becomes 16 divided by 4 parentheses 4 plus 6 times 2. Implied multiplication makes it this. We are left with three operations throughout the expression, division, multiplication, and addition. Again, forget addition for a moment and handle the equal rank division and multiplication, but strictly from left to right. So division first, 16 divided by four equals four. Next multiplication, four times four equals 16. Again, multiplication before addition, even though the plus sign comes earlier because that is how order is maintained without rushing it. Six times two equals 12. Finally, addition, 16 plus 12 equals 28. That's the correct answer, 28. Rushing it could have landed you at either 44 or 13. If you avoided those wrong ones, breathe, you made it. So, how many did you nail on the first try? Drop your score below, no shame. Just a few numbers and a few operations in this big world. Nothing to stress about. For more clear and enjoyable math challenges, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Beyond Numbers. Math is all about rhythm. Get the order right and the numbers fall into place. See you in the next one.